In the mid-1930s, the British Air Ministry formulated and released specification P1336. This specification had sought a new generation of twin-engine medium bombers, suitable for worldwide use. Twin-engine designs put limited demands on engine production and maintenance, both of which were already stretched with the introduction of so many new aircraft types into service. The specification also included requirements of a mid-mounted cantilever monoplane wing, and an all-metal construction. Adoption of the in-development Rolls-Royce Vulture engine was also encouraged. However, both the United States and the Soviet Union were pursuing the development of bombers, powered by arrangements of four smaller engines. The results of these projects proved to possess favorable characteristics such as excellent range and fair lifting capacity. Because of this, the Royal Air Force also decided to investigate the feasibility of the four-engine bomber. In response to specification P-1336, British company Avro had submitted a design for the Avro 679. The Avro 679 was developed into the Avro Manchester, which in many ways was a capable aircraft. But the Manchester proved to be underpowered, and it was troubled by the unreliability of its Vulture engine. The chief design engineer of Avro had been working on an improved Manchester design. The improved version was powered by four Rolls-Royce Merlin engines, which were less powerful but more reliable. The design was first designated the Type 683 Manchester 3, but was later renamed as the Lancaster. A prototype aircraft was built, and flew for the first time on January 9, 1941. The new aircraft proved to be a substantial improvement on the Avro Manchester. The second prototype had the design partly adjusted, and had the more powerful Merlin 20 engine. Avro received an initial contract for 1,070 Lancasters. Most Lancasters produced during the war were constructed at Avro's factory near Oldham, but this was not enough. Further Lancasters were produced in several other factories in the UK, and some were produced in Canada. The Lancaster was used as the Royal Air Force's principal heavy bomber during the latter half of World War II. The four-engine configuration made the Lancaster capable of flying on only two engines if necessary, and in extreme cases on limited distances on only one engine. The flying characteristics of the Lancaster were very good, which often made it possible to outmaneuver German fighters. The strong and durable aircraft was capable of withstanding considerable levels of damage. But if the pilots needed to evacuate, the Lancaster was problematic. Only 15% of the crews were able to bail out which is a low figure compared to similar aircraft types. The standard crew for a Lancaster was seven men. A bomb aimer was positioned in the nose, on top of him the pilot and the flight engineer were seated. Behind them sat the navigator, and next to him the wireless operator. Near the end of the bomb bay, the mid-upper gunner operated his turret. In the rear end of the aircraft, the rear gunner was positioned. The Lancaster was initially equipped with four hydraulically operated gun turrets in the nose, tail, mid-upper and underside. The turrets were equipped with Browning .303 Mark II machine guns. The most important defensive position was the tail turret. The Avro Lancaster had a long bomb bay, initially capable of carrying 1,800 kilograms of bombs, but some aircraft were modified to carry 3,600 kilograms. Later they were modified to carry an even larger bomb load, up to 5,400 kilograms. Various smaller bomb types could also be carried. To attack German dams, a special type of bouncing bomb was developed which could be carried by specially modified Lancasters. The Lancaster conducted its first World War II mission on March 2, 1942. In 1943, large numbers of Lancasters participated in the devastating attacks on Hamburg. Other famous Lancaster missions were the missions against dams in the Ruhr region, and the attacks against German battleship Tirpitz in 1944. The aircraft type was also used to drop the Grand Slam bomb, which was the heaviest conventional bomb used during the war. One of the final missions of the Lancaster in World War II, was the bombing of Hitler's Eagle's Nest. The Lancaster was used for several years after the war, for several types of missions, including photo-reconnaissance missions. In total, 7,377 Avro Lancasters were produced. <laughs>